Welcome to the COBOL IT Learning Center. Installing COBOL IT Developer Studio on Linux. The COBOL IT Developer Studio may be installed in Windows, Linux, or Unix environments. The most common configurations of the Developer Studio are working standalone in Windows, working in a remote Linux or Unix environment, and working standalone on a Linux or Unix server. Let's begin by examining these possible uses of the Developer Studio in more detail. Working standalone in Windows. For this configuration, you should first install the COBOL IT compiler suite on your Windows platform, where your projects and programs are located. Install the Developer Studio in your Windows environment. This will allow you to develop, compile, run and debug programs located on your Windows platform. Working in a remote Linux or Unix environment from Windows. For this configuration, you should first install the Developer Studio in your Windows environment. Then, install the COBOL IT compiler suite on your Linux or Unix platform, where your projects and programs are located. This will allow you to compile, run and debug COBOL programs located on a remote Linux or Unix server. Working standalone on a Linux or Unix server. For this configuration, you should install the COBOL IT compiler suite on your Linux, Unix platform, where your projects and programs are located. Then, install the Developer Studio in your Linux or Unix environment. This will allow you to develop, compile, run and debug COBOL programs located on your Linux or Unix server. In this module, we are working in a standalone Linux environment. Separate training modules are available for working in a remote Linux or Unix environment, and for working standalone on a Windows server. Let's proceed to our introduction. In this module, we will download and install the COBOL IT Developer Studio on a Linux platform. We will then validate our installation of the Developer Studio. Finally, we will validate our license to run the COBOL IT compiler and developer studio on the Linux platform. After these exercises, you will be ready to begin using the COBOL IT developer studio on a Linux platform. Let's get started. Prerequisites. For these exercises, the COBOL IT compiler suite and Eclipse must be installed on your Linux machine. Since the COBOL IT compiler suite uses the host C compiler, you are also required to have the C compiler GCC installed. For guidance, see the COBOL IT e-learning module, Installing COBOL IT Compiler Suite Enterprise Edition on Linux or Unix. Now, let's begin by starting Eclipse. The first thing we will do is launch Eclipse. Enter the directory in which Eclipse is installed, and type Eclipse on the command line. You will see the Eclipse splash screen for a few seconds. After the Eclipse splash screen closes, you will see the Workspace Launcher. The Eclipse platform stores your projects in a folder called a Workspace. When first started, Eclipse prompts the user to indicate where they wish to locate their workspace. After entering the location of your workspace, click OK. On the welcome screen, click on the arrow titled Workbench in the upper right hand corner to open the Developer Studio. You will proceed from the welcome screen, to the Eclipse IDE. Let's take a look at the Eclipse IDE. This is the Eclipse IDE. The Eclipse IDE opens by default in the Java perspective. We can now download and install the COBOL IT Developer Studio. Let's get started. To download and install the Developer Studio, click on the Help function on the main menu bar. 
On the drop down menu, select Install New Software. This will open the Install window. On the Install windows, to locate the available software, begin by clicking on the Add button. This will open the Add Repository window. On the Add Repository window, in the Name Entry field, enter COBOL IT Developer Studio. In the Location Entry field, enter www.cobolit.com slash devstudio. Click the OK button to return to the Install screen. The Install screen will list the Developer Studio plugins, and their dependencies. Click on the Select All button. To select all plugins and dependencies for your software update, click on the next button to continue. At this point, Eclipse will evaluate your selection and generate install details. The install details list all the plugins that will be installed with your update. Click on the next button to continue. Since this is a software installation, you will be required to review licenses and accept license terms. On the Review Licenses screen, accept the terms of the license agreements. Click on the Finish button to begin the process of downloading and installing the COBOL IT Developer Studio. Downloading and installing the Developer Studio may take a few minutes. The process will require that you accept certain conditions, so it cannot be left unattended. The first condition that you must accept is that you're installing software that contains unsigned content. Click OK to continue with the installation. The next update window advises you that the Eclipse SDK must be restarted in order for the changes to take effect. Click Restart now to continue with the installation. Eclipse will close, and then automatically restart. Eclipse will pause on the Workspace Launcher window. Verify the location of your workspace, and click OK. You will then advance to the Eclipse IDE. On the Eclipse IDE. We will now open the COBOL IT Developer Studio Perspective. Click on the Open Perspective button next to the Java Perspective button. From the drop-down menu, select Other to see the Open Perspective window. On the Open Perspective windows, select COBOL IT Developer Studio. Click OK to open the COBOL IT Developer Studio Perspective. This is the COBOL IT Developer Studio. Note that the COBOL IT Developer Studio button is selected. We have a navigator view on the left side of the IDE. This is where we will manage our source code. Now, we want to make the Developer Studio perspective the default perspective. This will cause the Developer Studio perspective to display every time we start Eclipse. To make the Developer Studio the default perspective, we will access the Perspectives interface through the Window Preferences interface. Select the Window function on the main menu bar, and then select Preferences from the drop-down menu. From the Preferences screen, select Perspectives from the column on the left. In the Available Perspectives list box, select COBOL IT Developer Studio and click the Make Default button. Click on the OK button on the bottom of the screen to return to the Developer Studio. We will now validate our installation of COBOL IT Developer Studio by doing a version check. Select the Help function on the main menu bar, and then select About Eclipse from the drop-down menu. On the About Eclipse pop-up window, Click on the Installation Details button in the lower left corner of the screen. The COBOL IT Developer Studio Installation Details window contains version information about COBOL IT Developer Studio, 
and its dependencies in the eclipse environment. Locate the entry for COBOL-IT Eclipse. The version number matches the version we downloaded and installed. Click on the close button. We will now proceed to validate our connection to the COBOL-IT compiler. The COBOL IT Developer Studio requires that a valid license be installed on your computer. Select the window function on the main menu bar, and then select Preferences from the drop down menu. Select COBOL from the panel on the left to see the license validation screen. If the license file path is empty, use the browse button to select slash opt slash cobol it slash cit license dot xml. The license validation is printed on the screen. Congratulations! Click the OK button. This license will allow you to use all of the features of the developer studio. In this module, we downloaded and installed the COBOL IT Developer Studio on a Linux platform. We validated the installation of the COBOL IT Developer Studio. Finally, we validated our license to run the COBOL IT Compiler and Developer Studio on the Linux platform. For more detailed information, and the very latest reference documentation, please visit the doc folder under your COBOL IT home directory. We encourage you to continue using the COBOL IT online training program. Thank you.